Mr. Tadej Kurent. Um, he's the first Slovenian speaker in this panel. He is coming from the city municipality of Maribor. And he is going to present how the uh, local municipality is working on um, using citizens' knowledge to improve the state of quality of life in city. And also Maribor, for those who are not from Slovenia, is the second biggest city in Slovenia. And for the last year, it is quite experimenting with different new alternative forms of citizens' participation, like also participatory budgeting, but it is stale so far at the moment, I think. But anyway, it's quite an interesting city, and this is, he's going, today is going to present a part of this uh, development. So please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Simon, for the introduction. Actually, I'm going to cover uh, our presentation with my colleague uh, from the municipality of Maribor, Ms. Vesna Augustincic. And uh, we, uh, as already said, we are coming from uh, Office of uh, Project Development, uh, where we are both uh, project managers. And uh, we will try to give you a glimpse of our uh, good practices from our local environment and uh, to tell you something about uh, our initiative, our Smart City Maribor initiative that was all, uh, recently uh, established, and uh, also to give you some information about some future uh, or current projects uh, focusing uh, uh, to engage uh, the end users uh, or citizens. Uh, so, as, as uh, Simon already said, uh, Maribor is the second largest city in Slovenia. Uh, it's a gravity center of uh, Eastern Cohesion region and uh, Podravia statistic region. Uh, we have uh, our own university, uh, approximately 105,000 uh, inhabitants, and uh, it's the largest city municipality in this uh, part of Slovenia. Uh, in 2014, a uh, Smart City Maribor initiative uh, was established. Uh, it represents a platform of uh, key players who see their opportunity in development of services and products connected with uh, topic of smart, uh, smart cities and smart communities. Uh, I'm saying you this because uh, it also, everything uh, uh, regarding citizen participation now derived from the Smart City Initiative. Uh, our municipality uh, contributed uh, with the unified uh, Smart City Maribor trademark. Uh, we think this is important uh, as uh, we could uh, provide uh, the, the common umbrella with uh, uh, with the graphic design uh, for stakeholders or for anyone that wants to use that. Uh, this, uh, the concept uh, of our Smart City Maribor uh, already began in July 2011 uh, when the city of Maribor joined the uh, International Consortium which successfully applied for seven framework program uh, called Upside. Uh, during the project, uh, we transferred many good practices uh, from uh, partners from Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Sweden uh, in the field of citizen participation. Uh, two of the most uh, important results uh, was the establishment of Smart City Maribor Initiative and the preparation of an interactive tool for citizen participation called Let's Improve Maribor. I will be speaking about Let's Improve Maribor a little bit later. Uh, so uh, let me get back to uh, Smart City Maribor initiative. The basic purpose is to create a cooperation platform to develop joint projects and ideas in the areas of Smart City. Uh, the initiative, uh, as you can see, has members uh, from very different, uh, uh, are very different types of organizations from private, uh, public uh, companies, uh, from uh, local municipality, from uh, research and development uh, organizations, university, for instance. Uh, those all partners paved uh, our way to Triple Helix Cooperation, which also provides our basis for uh, our Smart City Initiative. Uh, also, the focus of uh, our initiative uh, is also to seek possibilities, how to involve and to motivate more uh, the citizens to participate and to create a Maribor, a better, live, uh, a better place to live in. Uh, this is definitely the greatest challenge uh, of our city uh, to open the city administration more towards uh, its uh, citizens. Uh, this uh, diagram shows us uh, 
the, our, uh, our mm -hmm. Smart City Maribor initiative is managed uh, by municipality of Maribor. We act as a coordination body and uh, we also had uh, one great partner from uh, Ptui, from uh, other city of Podravje. Uh, uh, this is a Institute, a Zavod. We were also project partners uh, in uh, Upside. I'm glad that Matyash uh, Gerl is here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and uh, we... Uh, we uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we implemented besides uh, let's improve Maribor also the uh, other uh, participatory uh, tool called uh, the uh, particip participatory budget, uh, and uh, it is also how to involve uh, the uh, the citizens uh, as the key element to the Quadruple Helix uh, Smart City Initiative uh, in Maribor, mm -hmm. so that we could uh, involve uh, citizens into our uh, already uh, established Triple Helix company, uh, Triple Helix uh, Initiative, sorry. Uh, as for the Let's Improve Maribor, uh, this is a simple interactive tool. Uh, it provides the communication with the city administration, uh, the city administration on one mm -hmm. side, and with citizens on the other. Uh, the interested citizens can simply enter their ideas, suggestions, uh, questions, complaints, commendations via uh, website or uh, mobile application. Uh, the suggestions are then seen online and the citizens uh, receive reply to their suggestion per email and the answers are also published uh, online. Uh, okay. Uh, when we were implementing this new tool, uh, we had to adapt our existing municipal organizational structures and uh, set new tasks for different departments. Uh, as you might know, in municipality, this is sometimes a very tough job to do and a big challenge. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we managed to do that. Uh, the colleagues in France, they took four years, uh, the colleagues in Latvia a little bit less, but we managed also in a year and a half. But nevertheless, the, uh, the departments are now providing uh, coordinated operations and they immediate, uh, immediately reply. Uh, the, everything runs smoothly, so to say. Um, so this is what the, uh, the interface masks looks like. Uh, this is, it's very basic with the, uh, all suggestions, comments, initiatives uh, provided on the left side and their uh, geolocating, uh, geolocated uh, position on the right side uh, in the map. So uh, you could uh, post, I don't know, uh, if everything, if anything is broken, broken uh, bench, uh, broken tree, damaged pavement or road, and uh, we provide them the the answer, and also act. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, some current statistics, maybe for a year, that the uh, let's improve Maribor is uh, operable. Uh, the figures and numbers are not so impressive as uh, by colleagues from France or from Latvia, but nevertheless, uh, 350 initiatives uh, were submitted. Uh, we had uh, 330 registered users, 200 uh, applications were downloaded uh, for Android and for EOS, and uh, 7,500 uh, page visits. Uh, out of those, uh, we think it's quite good number, around 2,500 uh, people are returning uh, to site uh, occasionally. Okay, uh, this is for Let's Improve Maribor and now I will be uh, saying something about the second tool, uh, the participatory budget of municipality of Maribor. Uh, it all started as a pilot model. Uh, it was developed, supported and introduced with own municipal resources in uh, Maribor city quarter of Radvanje. Uh, participatory budget uh, is not yet specifically defined uh, in our Slovenian legislation, but uh, nevertheless municipality of Maribor joined uh, with the civil society uh, initiative of the Radvanje and they approached the concept uh, which was modeled after uh, other European cities which already implemented the participatory budget model. Uh, 
so how, it, how it was done in Maribor. Uh, citizens of Radvania collected project proposals uh, of uh, investments uh, from uh, September till October 2015. Uh, they were later, those uh, proposals were later evaluated uh, financially by city administration. Uh, 45 proposals were collected and around uh, 100,000 euros uh, were earmarked uh, for, uh, those uh, for that purpose. Uh, out of proposed projects, Citizen created a priority list of 22 projects proposals. Uh, this was done by voting and projects that received most votes were earmarked uh, in the budget. Each, citizens, uh, each citizen uh, inhabitant of Radvania had five available votes that could be granted to five projects. And uh, this also created uh, a priority list of uh, projects. Uh, the voting took place on 22nd of November. Uh, 652 mm -hmm. citizens were uh, selected and uh, 14 projects were uh, then uh, out of 45 were uh, for the uh, priority list. Uh, I would like to conclude uh, my uh, part of presentation by mentioning uh, some of the uh, projects uh, where focus is put on citizen participation. Uh, first one is the pilot project called Exploitation of ICT Technologies to Support Smart City Activities. Uh, there is also provided uh, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, communication uh, tool with end users is also provided. And uh, the second pilot project uh, is called Smart Neighborhood Maribor. The main purpose uh, is to set up and present a system for advanced local control of uh, electricity production and consumption. And uh, since June 2016, we began to implement mm -hmm. uh, project Urban Ino uh, that my colleague Vesna will explain in more details. And so this is now all from my side and uh, I'm giving the floor to Vesna. So thank you again for your attention. Hello, my name is Vesna. As today said, uh, at the municipality, we mostly finance uh, or deal with uh, citizen participation through projects. That's why we speak about projects uh, so much. And uh, the recent project, which started in June 2016 and, and it will last for three years, is uh, Interreg Central Europe funded project Urban INA. And this project is addressing the challenge to make Central Europe more competitive and innovative by maximizing the innovation potential of smaller and uh, medium-sized urban ecosystems. <coughs> and the city municipality, uh, city municipality of Maribor is one of uh, 12 project partners uh, who come from eight different countries in Central Europe. Um, and so, as, to said, uh, as I already said, the main objective is to maximize the innovation potential of these urban ecosystems through establishment of quadruple helix clusters in these partnership regions and to develop and implement the new participatory methods and tools to engage mm -hmm. end users um, into innovation uh, process. And this all done with the objective to get educated and motivated end users of new technology services, so-called smart users. So the main outputs of the project will be to establish uh, new uh, quadruple helix clusters in partnership regions, to, uh, to get urban innovation strategy and innovation plans in these partnership uh, regions. And of course, uh, in parallel, um, to uh, new participatory methods and tools will be developed and be, will be tested in nine pilot projects which will be implemented in partner regions. Uh, so for example, this Interreg Urban Inno project give us, uh, gives us the possibility to do a further step into establishing the quadruple helix cluster uh, that is already uh, set up in Maribor. So, um, the city of Maribor is aware that uh, the citizen participation in decision making brings many advantages. But, uh, however, this is promoting this participation is not an easy task for us. Public officials and citizens, namely, we have diverse interests and commitments and expertise. And those are then the differences which also represent the main obstacles for the participation. Uh, Although this is quite a challenge for us, so promoting this partic participation, City of Maribor is engaged, is engaged in many activities in this field. 
As already today mentioned, uh, we introduced this online tool, Let's Improve Maribor. Uh, we did a pilot project uh, about the participatory budget. Um, when preparing all the strategic documents in the city, we put a lot of attention on citizen involvement. So all important strategic documents of the city were uh, had a focus also on public participation. For example, sustainable urban development strategy, integrated transport strategy and other uh, documents. So in the future, we are planning to upgrade the existing tool Let's Improve Maribor. Uh, and this upgrade will allow us to use the web platform for open discussions on bigger development projects in urban area and also to offer innovation challenges to solve particular urban problems. Uh, so what is our challenge for the future? Uh, the big challenge is how to create the engaged users. Because in the first step we mainly focused on uh, technical solutions and we are aware that we need to focus on how to motivate users and how to build a rewarding system which works. <coughs> so although this we are aware and we know that the citizen involvement has a number of positive effects on democracy, but as already mentioned, this involvement uh, has also a lot of challenges for us. And we know that the time is needed that municipal officials and also activities at the municipality uh, will change. So we, we know that we need a change. Uh, we need to change the focus from finding the answer to question how can we technically solve the problem to the question what are the benefits for the users, for the citizens. Mm -hmm. And actually participating in different EU projects give us the possibility to develop and test the new methods before implementing them in everyday activity. So, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vesna and Tadej. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, please. Um, hello. Um, we, the Democratic Society, also run uh, lots of participatory budgeting um, um, projects in Scotland. Um, we're very interested in your presentations, thank you. Um, my question was about um, security and verification. How do you check that the people are, who are voting are actually resident in Maribor and it's not to be people next door who don't want the things to happen who are all going to vote against it, for example? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, I think uh, the uh, our our service for uh, for the functioning of the city council uh, provided uh, their officials their capacities to uh, to prove all the uh, voters and uh, it, it was done similarly like uh, in regular voting for uh, city council because they had uh, experience to, to do something like that. So it's yeah. only the people who are registered to vote yes, yes. who so the, are the allowed to participate? Yes, the inhabitants of the city quarter. And uh, I think I didn't mention uh, the quorum of the participant, uh, participants uh, needs to be 5%, but uh, the participatory budget, uh, the voting, uh, they were 10% of uh, the population of city quarter. And uh, it was uh, legally done, and uh, everything that uh, took place there was uh, adopted. And it's now, I think, in short time, it will be ready for people. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.